The type of equipment that we recommend for the brush buster stem sprays is a backpack sprayer similar to this and uh, preferably equipped with a backpack harness that helps relieve stress to the operator. Probably the most important thing to uh, correct on this uh, sprayer is to replace the nozzle that comes with these with the 5500 X1 adjustable cone nozzle. And with that, we recommend that you get a 100 mesh screen with a check valve to help prevent the dribbling of the spray as you're moving from tree to tree. And the small orifice of the adjustable cone, the X1, helps reduce the spray volume that we use per tree, thus providing a much more effective use of our herbicide. In the Brush Busters stem sprays, we recommend this herbicide, Remedy, in concentration of 25%, either in uh, diesel or crop oil. In mixing for our stem sprays on salt cedar, we typically don't use as much volume at once uh, because a little bit goes a long way. So I'm going to mix up one gallon of spray mixture. I already have my diesel poured up three quarts of diesel in this jug. And I will then add my Remedy herbicide, one quart, which will give me 25% mixture of Remedy in 75% diesel. Then we agitate this. And typically the Remedy goes into mixture very well with the diesel. Agitate this thoroughly. And then we pour the mixture into our container. Stem applications are effective any time of the year, although the best time is during the growing season when temperatures are high. Be sure to adjust the sprayer nozzle to deliver a narrow cone-shaped mist. Spray the mixture lightly but evenly on the plant stem or trunk up to 12 inches from the ground. Apply the mixture to all sides of every basal stem, but not to the extent that runoff and puddling occur. Keep these points in mind. Follow herbicide label directions. Cost of treatment escalates rapidly as density of salt cedar increases or the number of basal stems per plant increases. Multiple stemmed plants are more difficult to control with this method. After mixing herbicide with diesel fuel, shake or agitate the mixture vigorously. Controlling salt cedar is not a one-time job. You will need to go over your land now and then to get rid of unwanted salt cedar re-sprouts and seedlings. 